A while ago, Blender Foundation announced their new official extensions platform, which sounded cool, it looks cool. Extension, by the way, is a new term which includes anything that changes Blender's behavior, such as add-ons, themes, key maps, assets, and possibly more. But now suddenly there is an announcement that the extensions will be integrated into Blender's interface, starting from Blender 4.2, which is currently in alpha. So I downloaded the alpha to see what is going on, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. To be honest, I don't really like it. Uh, I'll show you in a bit. And so I decided to make this video. Since these new features are still in alpha, maybe there is a chance to influence the development or at the very least, I'll show you what is coming so that you can be prepared. By the way, speaking of extensions and add-ons, this is my attempt to organize Blender add-ons better than other platforms. If you just go to addons.cgdive.com, you'll find this directory. And what makes it different from other similar sites is the focus on proper categories. So if you're a rigger, you can definitely go to the rigging section and then narrow down your search even further and so if you go to bone dynamics, all you'll find are add-ons that will help you with bone physics, nothing else. And unlike the official extensions platform, you'll find both free and paid add-ons. The extensions platform is limited to free ones. Let's go back to the extensions platform. Currently you have the choice between add-ons and themes. There are categories. So for example, under rigging, you'll actually find Rigify in here. Rigify used to be pre-installed with Blender. Uh, now things are going to change a little bit. I'll show you in a second when we move to Blender. But let's go into this add-on. And if you want to download it, what you can do is click on Get Add-on and you can manually download it. But there is a very cool feature here, which should allow you to grab this area and drop it into Blender. Here I have Blender 4.2 Alpha. Uh, and so I should be able to drag and drop this thing into Blender and I should get a pop-up which allows me to install the add-on. Currently, I'm unable to make it work, but you know, Blender is in alpha and the platform is in beta, so I guess it makes sense. So that is the extensions platform. I like it and I believe it's a great way to discover interesting add-ons, especially free ones. But now let's go to Blender. Again, this is Blender 4.2 alpha. And let's go to Edit, Preferences. And then if you're familiar with Blender, you'll notice that uh, something is going on here. Here we used to have add-ons. Now it says extensions. And it looks different than it used to. In fact, let's start Blender 4.1 and see what we get. So we have Preferences. And here we have add-ons, okay? And we had the ability to install add-ons. There are some uh, add-ons categories. So quite different uh, from what we get here in 4.2. So you'll be greeted with this message here, which asks your permission to enable the extensions repository. This will connect to the internet. Blender has this philosophy that the software shouldn't connect to the internet, at least not without the consent of the user. So they are explicitly asking your permission. Before we enable it, if we take a look at what we have here, it's actually a very short list of add-ons. The older versions of Blender come with um, around 100 pre-installed add-ons but here we have 12 or so. So what is happening is Blender now comes pre-installed with only the absolute core add-ons. To get anything else, you need to enable the repository or manually download and install the add-ons. I'm going to click enable, wait a second. And now suddenly we have this large list of add-ons with install button next to them. What is important to note is that these are not only add-ons, but also themes. So it is not just the name that changed here, but this area actually has different functionality. And this is actually what I don't really like, but I'll come back to it. Let's see how we can work in this area now. So we can filter out only the add-ons or only the themes. And honestly, I would never want to see both. Uh, that makes little sense to me. Then we have some additional filtering, legacy add-ons, 
what are legacy add-ons? I honestly don't know. If you do, please let me know. We can limit the display to only the installed extensions. Currently, I have no themes, so if I go to add-ons, it will show me only the installed add-ons. We can filter out extensions that have updates available. Currently, there are none, but I guess this is kind of cool. Now that Blender can connect to the internet, it will probably become easier to update add-ons on the fly. Instead of having to uninstall them and then install the new version, we'll probably get a nice functionality to update an add-on. And also we can show only the enabled extensions. So, okay, um, I still don't get the legacy thing, but we'll figure it out. Then we have the repositories. One of them is the official ones, the extensions.blender.org. We have a user default, which we'll have to go to advanced options. And it seems like we can enable a local directory, a local folder to act as a repository. So that can be cool as well. I haven't tested this yet, but I can see how it could be useful. You can just keep your add-ons in a specific folder, which I do anyway, and you can always have access to them right here from the Blender's interface. And finally here at the edge, we have the ability to check for updates. I guess that connects to the internet and checks all add-ons for updates. You can install all available updates. We have two options to install from disk and install legacy add-ons. And here again, I'm a little bit confused. I guess install legacy add-on is the old way to install add-ons by finding a zip file and clicking install add-on. Yeah, seems to have worked. And it says legacy. Again, I'm confused about this. Now that I spend a little time with the new interface, I'm starting to see some of its benefits. The main thing that I still don't like is that for whatever reason, the add-on sections was replaced with this extensions section, and now we don't have a dedicated section for add-ons. And that doesn't make sense to me. We have a section for themes, we have one for key maps, but not for add-ons. So to install a new theme, I kind of have to switch to themes here and install a theme, and it will automatically switch and then I can go to theme and change it again from here. Mm, I don't know, something feels off. So in my humble opinion, here is how things could be improved. One way would be to bring back the dedicated add-on section and extensions can be its own separate section here in the properties. So when you want to download an extension, whether it's an add-on, a theme or something else, you will go to the extension section and install it. But when you want to enable and disable add-ons or change their options, you would go to the add-ons section, just like we have been doing for 20 years or whatever. And again, when you want to change your themes options, you'll go to the themes, which is kind of the case already. Another approach that I can imagine, again, bring back the add-ons here instead of the new extensions section. And under add-ons, you will only be able to download and install add-ons. And if you want to install themes, then you go to themes. And here we could have additional functionality to download and install themes. And when there are extension key maps, you can go to key maps and install them from here. So to summarize, my problem with this current implementation is that the change of the add-on section is too heavy-handed and add-ons have kind of become a second-class citizen. Also, the manual installation of add-ons is kind of hidden and not very clear to me, at least right now. Okay, that's it for now. I'll keep you updated if there are any changes in this area, and I hope we can bring this to the attention of the Blender developers and they will consider this feedback. And before we go, one more time, check out addons.cgdive.com for well-organized Blender add-ons.